world, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. Today we are going to play with some new Killian lipsticks. Killian has come out with brand new lipsticks. These are liquid lipsticks, y'all. So this is what it looks like. How insanely beautiful is this packaging? Oh my, look at this. Isn't it just insanely gorgeous? So of course, I mean, it comes in the stunning packaging, guys. I did pick up three shades. It, there are, let's see, six shades on Saks. That's where I picked mine up. And it's a long lasting ultra matte liquid lip color. And it's made in Italy and it's by Killian in Paris. And yes, it's gorgeous. A lot of reds. A lot of reds in this lipstick shade line. I had a hard time picking. I wanted them all. <laughs> but I thought, you know what? We are just going to try a few to start because with Killian's lipsticks, this is something to note. It is scented. They smell. They're beautifully scented. Don't get me wrong, but they do have a scent to them. So if you are not into scented products and lipsticks, that type of thing, this will not be for you because they are strongly scented. And they're scented with their his Love Don't Be Shy, one of his signature fragrances. That is an iconic perfume for the house of Killian. That is what they're scented with. And that's what they smell like, 100%. So let's talk about this just a little bit. It's a creamy lip ink for drawing alter egos into the light. Le Rouge Perfume Liquid Ultra Matte is multi-sensational. No, wrong word. <laughs> is multi-sensorial. Delivering long-lasting color purity up to eight hours, matter than matte texture, and scented with Love Don't Be Shy. Killian Paris's iconic perfume with notes of vanilla, orange blossom, and marshmallow. So it is a sweet smelling fragrance. Just an FYI, if you've never smelled Love Don't Be Shy. <laughs> Let's see, it's waterproof, color true, never feathering, caking, or bleeding. Ultra matte texture, fuses with the lips for smooth and comfortable wear. So you are gonna get opaque color. It's opaque. It's saying to ensure longevity of the liquid ultra matte, let it dry for 20 to 30 seconds by keeping the lips slightly open. So you're not gonna to wanna to like, like rub it all around or anything like that. And then it says it's easy to remove with makeup remover. I will say, I will say, I have been wearing these and I have a review for you. I, these are not first impressions, guys. I have been wearing them and you need to take it off with makeup remover. So if you have a makeup remover, uh, something a little oil-based because honestly, that helps. <laughs> I have a Chanel one that I use. It's very nice, but it definitely needs a good oil-based product to get that off and a strong one, a pretty strong one because it doesn't really come off when you eat or, you know, a little bit comes off, but it's not like a lot, which is nice. It's very long lasting, I will say. So let's try them on. Let's just get to it. Let's try them on. I took my lipstick. I had like a lip gloss-ish on. I'm going to go in with, I have I feel like I have stuff on my lips. I have three shades that I want to share with you. I have a Rose Cruel, which is kind of like your mauve So this is Rose Cruel. It's kind of like a mauve pinky shade, yet on your lips, it tends to get a little deeper than what it shows in the tube here. I feel like the tube doesn't give it enough depth. So let's go ahead and try Rose Corelle on. This is what the applicator looks like. You can already tell, look. See how much different that looks on the skin compared to the tube? 
it's beautiful, but it's just, it was just kind of surprising. And you can smell it. You can definitely smell it. So you are not into scents. This is not the lipstick for you, but if you love a good scented product, may maybe right up your alley. <laughs> and if you love don't be if you love love don't be shy, this would be for you. So you leave your lips open. <laughs> You don't talk. No. You leave your lips open so it dries, but it's so easy to apply. So easy. This applicator is really nice. It's fabulous, actually. I really like this applicator. And it's like creamy feeling right now. Let's just give it a few seconds to dry. So you can you can feel it dry down, but it's not tacky. You know how some of these lip colors are tacky whenever they dry down? It's soft, like pillowy. It does have a little bit of a uh, like sweet smell. It tastes a little sweet, but not like it doesn't have a significant taste to it. Okay. Rose Corel, guys. This is what's on my lips right now. Rose Corel. What do you think? Y'all have to tell me your favorite down below because I'm curious to know which one you love best. Mm, I really like this one, though. This is the most nude one I felt like he had. The rest are really bright or, like, more red. And um, this one's more of, like, your nudish, not as like bam shade. So let's take this off and let's try another shade. All right, so next up we have 340. What are you 340? We did Rose Corel. Intoxicating Rouge. Ah, oh, yes. So this is 340 Intoxicating Rouge. So see how red it is? Like it's a red, yet it's a kind of bluer red. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is intense, is it not? <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's, I love the formula. I really like this formula. I have to say, it's very pretty. It's very nice, it's very nice. Okay. I did mess up right here, so all I'm gonna do, while it's still wet, <laughs> there, there. Just to make the line less harsh around the lips, that's kind of what I do sometimes, is I will take the, take my finger or something like that and just kind of rub the line across the top, because product can tend to build at the tops, especially with liquid lipsticks. So I'll just take it and kind of like rub it. All right, y'all, so this is, it's, I feel like this is as close as I can get it. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is Intoxicating Rouge, you guys. Oh, I love it. I love the shade. I feel like it's really rich and vibrant. Just, I mean, I feel like it makes my lips look like ick. <laughs> Like, whoa, <laughs> it, it makes my teeth look white. Now, I will say, when I've worn these, it does not dry out my lips. All matte, I feel like all matte lipsticks are somewhat a little drying, but this really isn't that bad. I will say it's actually quite nice where it's not, you don't feel it like being super, super just dehydrating on your lips. Wears very nicely. I don't feel like, nervous about it getting everywhere on my teeth or anything once it's dried down and I feel like I've got it like set then I'm good until then I'm a little nervous because <laughs> it will transfer if it's not dry but I really am enjoying the wearing these colors because I feel like reds especially are hard to wear more 
I feel like reds, it's easier to wear a matte red. Something that's not going to budge, not going to move. That's why I love my Chanel, the Duo Tenue de Chanel. I, I think that's what they're called. I might have one here. Hold on. Maybe not. But, the, you know, the double-ended Chanel liquid lipsticks. Love those, right? This reminds me a little bit of that, but it doesn't have that sticky dry-down feeling before you put on that really nice gloss. This is just great pigmented wear without, and it almost feels kind of um, velvety, velvety. That's what, that's how I would describe it. It feels very velvety on the lips. Okay, let's try on the last one. I only got three guys, only three. I'm trying to be good. Now y'all have to let me know if there are more you want to see. Or do I just need three? Let me know. I'll take this off real quick. All right, so these are definitely some pigmented products. So I just redid some of my foundation right here. So if it look uneven, that's why. <laughs> I think it's okay though. We are gonna go into the last shade, which is a very vibrant red. This, guys, is the last shade. Wow, right? This is gorgeous. And it's called Rouge Immortale 302. Now, I was on the fence about what to get when we were on Clubhouse one night and they were everyone was like, you need to get this one. You need to get this one. And Lexi particularly was like, you need to get this one, Jen. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm really glad I got this one. It's, I think, one of my favorite. I don't know. They're just so different and good. They're so good. So let's try this on. I'm so curious to hear which shade you love best. I I really love them all. There's so many good shades. Six really nice different shades to choose from. I had the hardest time picking which one I like. And then, you know, I did get something a little different. This one's a little warmer. Uh, maybe a little bit more of like, an, it's warmer. Yeah? More, or is it more neutral? I don't think this is warmer. It's not really orangey. Do you think it's orangey? Maybe it is a little orangey. I did my best. I, I probably would have used a little bit of a lip liner, but I mean, the applicator did okay, right? I feel like they're a little deeper than they show in the tube itself. This one here is the one I have on, and then this was the first one. It was really, really pretty, right? Very mauve good for every day. And then this kind of blue undertone red. Oh, great for holiday, right? This would be really pretty for holiday too. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. Like I said, these are these retail for 56 US dollars. I did purchase mine off Saks. Yeah. I hope this helps and I hope that you guys love this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.